Please help me to like and subscribe to grow our channel. Bill Cosby sentenced to 3 to 10 years in prison for sexual assault. Bill Cosby, once known as America's Dad, was sentenced Tuesday to 3 to 10 years in a state prison for drugging and sexually assaulting Andrea Constant at his home 14 years ago. Cosby's bail was revoked and he was escorted from the courthouse in handcuffs. This was a serious crime, Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, Judge Stephen O'Neill said. Mr. Cosby, this has all circled back to you. The day has come, the time has come. Cosby, convicted in April of aggravated and decent assault, declined to speak to the court prior to the sentence. His attorneys have filed an appeal. He also was ordered to pay a fine of 25000 plus the costs of prosecution as part of the sentence. Bill Cosby is taken away in handcuffs after he was sentenced to 3 to 10 years for felony sexual assault on September 25, 2018, in Norristown, PA. In addition, O'Neill ruled that Cosby will be classified as a sexually violent predator, a determination that requires lifetime registration. Lifetime mandatory sex offender counseling with a treatment provider and notification to the community that a sexually violent predator lives in the area. The lengthy path to this moment began in 2004 when Cosby, the groundbreaking actor, gave constant pills to incapacitate her and then sexually assaulted her. She told Paulus in 2005 about the incident but prosecutors declined to press charges and they settled the case in civil court a year later. A decade later, dozens of women came forward to say Cosby drugged and sexually assaulted them over his decades as a powerful media figure. Constance was the only one of those cases that did not occur outside the statute of limitations. A new team of prosecutors took up the case and, relying on Constance and Cosby's statements in a civil deposition, arrested him in December 2015. A first criminal trial against Cosby ended in a hung jury. But in April, Cosby was convicted of three counts of aggravated and decent assault for drugging and assaulting Constant in the first high-profile celebrity criminal trial of the Me Too era. No one is above law, and no one should be treated differently or disproportionately, O'Neill said. Cosby's spokesperson Andrew Wyatt unleashed on the media, judge and prosecutors after the sentence. Calling the prosecution the most racist and sexist trial in the history of the United States, he also said Cosby was doing well because he knows that these are lies. They persecuted Jesus and look what happened. I'm not saying Mr. Cosby's Jesus, but we know what this country has done to black men for centuries, Wyatt said. Gloria Allred, a victim's rights attorney who represents several women who say they were assaulted by Cosby, praised the sentence as a long journey to justice. We're glad that Judgment Day has finally come for Mr. Cosby, she said. Mr. Cosby has shown no remorse and there has been no justice for many of the accusers who were barred from a court by the arbitrary time limits imposed by the statute of limitations. Ahead of the sentencing, Constant wrote a five-page letter to the court explaining how Cosby's assault and the ensuing legal battle had changed her life. As a Temple University employee, she looked up to Cosby, a Temple trustee, as a mentor and friend. He used that position of power and trust, as well as his public persona as Dr. Huxtable, to take advantage of her. She testified at trial. Bill Cosby took my beautiful, healthy young spirit and crushed it. He robbed me of my health and vitality, my open nature and my trust in myself and others, she wrote. O'Neill cited Constance's statement in deciding on the sentence.